Hey guys, Sarah from Sweet Sense from the Dollhouse. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. If you're returning waxy, as always, welcome back. Um, you guys will also know that this is part three of this ginormous random act of kindness from my girl Amber and her family in Stockton, California. I went and picked this up tonight. I'm filming it because I have an action-packed weekend. Um, I, like usually, I don't film ROKs. ROA case the day I get home. Usually I wait till the next day when I have natural light and can sit down and go through everything, but I don't have time. I am literally going to put this into four big totes and just smell it forever. You have no idea. I love, love, love it when Amber sends me wax and she spoils me rotten. So this is part three and we aren't even completely through the very first box. So without further ado, let's finish that up. If you haven't seen the first two videos, feel free to go back and watch those ones first. If you're not interested in watching the first two and you just want a quick recap, we have a shit ton of vendor wax here. We have Glitterati, Super Tarts, Nini's Kitchen Melts, we have Waxmosphere, Sassy Girl Aroma, um, Hayden Row, Vintage Chic Scents, Destination Wax, Rose Girls, Southbound Candle Company, Ava's Country Covered, as well as the Bathing Garden so far. So, what did we say? That was 13 vendors? And, or 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the 13th vendor is Bear's Wax Crafts, and this is Cozy Winter Cottage. Oh, I love, love, love this one. Um, I can't remember the scent notes exactly, but there's definitely a bit of pine, a bit of cinnamon. This is like a perfect token Christmas scent. Yeah, I would definitely melt this Christmas morning. <clears throat> also, this mixed with this Nini's Kitchen Melts, um, Burrows and Berries, or I don't know, Bows and Berries, I don't know how to pronounce that. These two together would be mind-blowing. <clears throat> um, and then the 14th vendor... This is Waxy Taffy. I've never tried this vendor before. It looks like this lid took a beating in shipping. I don't know, either to me or to Amber. But the scent is Sweet Zucchini Cupcakes. Zucchini bread cupcakes topped with vanilla buttercream and crunchy bits of toffee. That sounds delicious. I wonder when Amber ordered this. It doesn't smell very strong. I'm going to ask her because perhaps this just needs more cure time. I believe Waxy Taffy was started by one of the Wax Chat admin people. So that's kind of cool. And I love being able to try a new to me vendor. So that's exciting. I don't know how we're going to open up the second box. We don't even have room for all of the first one. <clears throat> then it gets into some sensationals. Um, I can't even believe she sent me this. She sent me one clam of this forever ago, and I loved it. Sensationals Tea Time. I don't think that this was ever released in Canada, and this is almost impossible to be able to find in the States. I know that Amber has been hoarding this because it was one of her favorites for a very long time, and she gave me two out of her personal stash. So thank you so much, Amber. Um, oh, yes. Yes! Now I don't have to hoard my one and only clam of it. I'll be able to enjoy it knowing that I've got two backups. So that's exciting. Um, the next one is First Woodland Frost. This was in my December melting basket. So stoked to have a second one. This is so different. 
I don't know if this was ever available last year or maybe this is the first year it's come out. It's unlike anything else that I have in my melting basket for this month. I don't even know how to describe it. But I have been really, really enjoying this one. So thank you so much for that. If you're in the U.S. and haven't picked this one up yet, if you're looking for something totally off the wall unique to melt this time of year, pick up First Woodland Frost. It won't disappoint. Better Home and Gardens, we have Rustic Country Home. I don't think I've ever tried this one. Oh man, it smells really good too. Very reminiscent of Barrett's Wax Crafts Cozy Winter Cottage, but a little bit more cinnamon and less like pine or fir needle. That's nice. That would be really good this time of year too. I think like, well I shouldn't say Christmas time is the only time, but I'm very, very, very picky about cinnamon scents, and I usually only enjoy them at Christmas and Valentine's Day. That's it. That's all. Pumpkin marshmallow topping. I love this one. This one almost smells like pumpkin pecan waffles a little bit, like a really, really light version of pumpkin pecan waffle. But mostly it makes a kick-ass blending scent. If you have like scents that are too spicy, too cinnamony for you, go pick up a clam of Better Home and Garden's pumpkin marshmallow topping. I know it's still available down there because I just saw it today at Walmart in Michigan. You can still find this. It will definitely cream out or add a bakery tone to some of the off-the-wall or too harsh, too Christmas tree or too cinnamon scents this holiday season. Go grab you one of these. That's it. We've finally reached the bottom of a box number one. There were also suckers in there, but I gave them to the girls to keep them busy while I did these videos. So this is box number two. Woman, I cannot believe you. This is definitely going to be four, maybe even five videos. Who knows? I have no idea what's in this one, but I swear it's even heavier than the first one. Ugh. Use the knife, Sarah. There was no way I could wait two or three days before I opened these. This is not all wax, too. My word, it's all wax. This is going to be a six, seven part series. Sparkles Wax Melts. Bender number 14, Lemon Verbena. <laughs> oh, man. I can smell this already and I don't even have the bag open. I will get down with that on its own. That smells strong. This was poured back in July. Woo! That would be good on its own or blended in with something else. That smells really strong. I think it's the verbena in there. That is a kicker. We have Sparkles Wax. Just wonderful. No clue what the scent notes are. Ooh, that's definitely a laundry, a fresh linen. Yeah, definitely a linen laundry scent. That's nice. Smells strong as well. Oh, this isn't the pour date. It's a cure date. So cure until July 22nd, 2018. This is well and cured. Very strong. We have a huge chunk of the Glitterati Candle Company, Miss Claus's Lemon Curd Cookies, and 
Look at how big this chunk of Glitterati is. Not sure I understand what makes people so nuts about this, but we are going to melt this and find out. I love me some lemon cookie scents though, so I'm down. Oh, that smells so good. I'll have to see. I'm very particular about my lemon cookie scents. Mrs. Claus's lemon curd cookies. Hmm, interesting. You didn't have to share your glitter audio with me. That is crazy. I can't believe this is all wax. Destination Wax Cape Cod Coast. I've heard a lot about this one too. This is salty air, crashing waves, myrtle leaves, fresh cedar wood, and marine algae. Destination Wax is so pretty. That one's strong. Oh, I love that. Look at how much destination wax is here. I'm going to need a destination wax basket for my closet, a glitterati basket, a wax mystery basket, a hidden row basket. I'm gonna need twice the size of a rose girl's basket. You're nuts. Lavender peppermint, blah, 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 blah. lavender peppermint and coconut milk from Rose Girls. This is guaranteed from the mint sampler. I know it. Amber went nuts over this mint sampler. That smells amazing. This is going in right now. Out of all this wax, I haven't been able to commit yet. I'm like, hmm, it's almost bedtime. What are we going to melt tonight? This is it. Ooh, and that is strong. That one's gorgeous. I don't necessarily get a lot of the coconut milk on cold because the peppermint is so strong in that, but perhaps once it's warming, it will come out a little bit more. Hayden Rose Sandalwood Peppercorn. That's beautiful. The peppercorn doesn't um, outshine the sandalwood in here. It's a very beautiful blend of both. Very, very, I find sandalwood super sexy. I know not all people will agree with me, but that's a super sexy scent. I have like a little sexy time Hayden Row pile happening over here. Thank you for that. We have Avis Country Cupboard Caramel Cinnamon Latte. Love me some good coffee scents. Oh man, I was so overdue for not this particular, um, the Rose Girls haul that I just went down and it was like I've been dying for new coffee scents and Amber and Rose Girls definitely hooked me up this trip to the States. Mmm, and Avis. This kind of has like a little bit, a little teeny bit of a Lorelei vibe to it. But not really. I like this one better than Super Dark's Lorelei. If you guys have ever tried that cinnamon ice cream donut coffee, ugh, it's really, really, really strong by Super Dark's. I like this one better. Oh, and Amber hooked me up with cranberry salsa. So many good blends here, folks. Ooh, Rose Girls. Rosemary, Mint, Lavender, and Sandalwood. Where'd you get all of these Rose Girls Lavender blends? <sighs> Guaranteed this was in the mint sampler, too. Mama, Mama be right there. Two seconds. That smells gorgeous. Super unique, too. Earthy. Rosemary mint can be a little bit overpowering, so we'll have to see if that lavender and sandalwood continue to come out when it's warming or if it gets outshone by that rosemary mint, but that is a very interesting blend. Um, we have orange sherbet, 
Sherbet and Serendipity. Ooh, I love Serendipity anything. Oh, God damn. Love that. That's a unique blend, too. I've never smelled anything like that. Ella, come on. Sorry about that. I always get crazy annoyed when people are like, oh my goodness, like that's so smart. You had your kids so far apart. Having teenagers with a new baby must be like having built-in babysitters. What kind of teenagers do you know? The ones that I know are useless. I shouldn't say that. My girls are super helpful, but Ella came into their knife. Life. Not the other way around. So when Ella's yelling, help me, help me, help me, she's paging me, no one else. So I apologize. Well, let's get back into this box. Oh, I just about dumped it. Amber, I cannot believe that this is all wax. If you need me to vouch for you, put Ray on the phone next time. I'll be like, Ray, she totally needs more wax. She sent me like almost her whole collection. Uh, Destination Wax, ooh, Buttercream Brulee. That sounds fantastic. Rich Vanilla Buttercream Swirled with Caramel Brulee. Mmm, that smells good. I think that's the very first Destination Wax that I've ever smelled, like bakery Destination Wax. Well, other than that marshmallow fluff, but everything else that I've tried previous to this has all been like super earthy or fresh or like beachy. Hayden Rowe Boston Tea Party. This is a two colored scent shot. Brown on the top, blue on the bottom. Oh, that smells so good. This reminds me of Super Tarts Doctor Who. If you smell that, not the same, similar. Delicious. I would order this Boston Tea Party in like crazy large quantities from Hayden Row. Oh, I kind of want to melt that now too. Way too many amazing selections to decide. Destination Wax Teakwood and Coconut. This is H. Teakwood, Coconut, Cologne, Island Flowers, Tonka, Bean, Amber, and Vanilla Musk. Oh, that sounds right up my alley. That's gorgeous. Uh, very much reminds me of like, what is that? Bath and Body Works. Not the same, but Copper Coconut or something. It smells better though. That's gorgeous. I will definitely be saving that one for summertime. I have an empty bin right here. This needs a name tag. I can't reach it. To help if I wasn't so fat. This is going to be my destination wax bin because look at all this. Like these are the four pack bling blocks or whatever the heck. No, they don't call them bling blocks. Whatever the four packs are. And I have how many of those? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of the four packs. And I don't even know how many. Two, four, six, eight. 10, 11 so far, 11 of the scent shots. I'm gonna fill up this destination wax box before we're done here. Because speaking of, whoop, there's more destination wax. This is frozen clementine. Frozen clementine is orange, G fruit, what, grapefruit, lemon, tangerine, and bergamot. Oh, that's different. Bergamot makes that super unique. They 
they've got some really killer blends, and I know so for So now certain. my computer's just deciding to kick shit whenever it wants. This is super strong wax. This is going to throw me out of my house. We have Destination Wax Wild Berry Mousse, which is rich in fruity berry, fig, and vanilla mousse. Well, that smells fantastic. Oh, that is so good. That's like regular wild berry mousse, but something so much more. I would order this in large quantities. Destination Wax, just plain old pink sugar, which is pink cotton candy, raspberry jam, lemon drops, caramel, and musk. That's an authentic pink sugar. Woo! Not like Sensi Sugar. That's not like, um, Sensi Sugar is more like Better Home and Gardens Lavender Sugar Twist or Sugared Lavender Twist or whatever. This Destination Wax is authentic, like Aquilina Pink Sugar, just like the perfume. We have Hayden Row Duchess. I've heard about this one too. Again, I don't have scent notes, but I've heard good things about this blend. I have been sleeping on Hayden Row. That is gorgeous. This too, I would order in massive quantities. I think that will be the first order I place in the new year. It's definitely Hayden Row. And I have been on a wax ban. So I deserve a $250, $300 Hayden Row order. Just saying. So I will definitely be looking for their first restock of 2019. Destination Wax Chamomile Tea. Chamomile Tea, sweet and fresh. A lovely spa scent. Oh, that's beautiful. Love that. Need more of that, too. Probably need a Destination Wax haul. About the same size. Pink Sari, which is pink sugar, combined with patchouli. Mm. I like this. Yeah, that's really good. Even though their pink sugar is probably one of the most authentic pink sugars, which typically isn't my favorite, mixed with Destination Wax Patchouli. Pink Sari is beautiful. Destination Wax Rose Bouquet, a fragrant bouquet of velvety red roses. Oh, that's pretty. This is almost like Ava's Fresh Cut Roses, like almost smells like the authentic real thing, but this has a very light perfumey vibe to it, but not mature perfumey. This is beautiful. I love that. There's Destination Wax Sunshine Lolly, which is sweet vanilla, fruity lollipops, and summer florals. That one's beautiful. Hey, you want to come here? Why do you have to go that way and shake my piwa? Come here. Sit on my knee. I think we're done. What do you show my unmade bed for? <laughs> Good job, Ella. Smell this. Doesn't that smell beautiful? Oh, boy. Oh, I can melt that in the spring. It's going to be hard to hold on to that one for that long. That smells amazing. I think we've reached our max oh. for this video. This is Sparkles Tidy Up. You're warm. June. Oh, man. Yeah. You have a fever again, baby. You need to take some medicine. Sparkles tidy up. It's a nice, clean scent. Oh, baby, you got a fever. 
Let's do one more. We have Hayden Rose Tranquility. That's a really light powdery scent. Not baby powder. Powdery something though. Oh, whoa. That's nice. I really like that one. Yeah. Okay, so that's it for part whatever we are on. Three? Three? Yeah, big round part three. And we haven't even put a dent in this box. Let me show you. Oh, now I can lift it that high. There we go. Stay tuned for part four and five. That's coming up. We need to kick this beaver's ass and put this little squirt to bed. Can you say bye to everybody? Hi. Look at her rosy cheeks. Yeah, rosy cheeks. Say bye bye, Mimi. Okay. Say bye, Mimi. Bye, Mimi. Say love you. <laughs> See you in my next video, guys. That's Windex.